Good evening, myself and Post. It is Wednesday, May the 9th of May 2012. That's the reduce. And today, a person angered me slightly, so I decided during my spare, if you don't know what a spare is, it is a class in which we do not have to do anything. It's a free class, basically. Um, I decided to write 610 words about said person's stupidity, and this is the result that I got. Just warning you, this is the entire video. It is a rant video, and if you don't want to listen to a rant, then I guess you can stop watching the video now. Bye, people. Hello. Well, he remaining hello to everyone who stayed. At one point or another in every person's life, we witness somebody so unfathomably stupid or uninformed of everything around them to insult. My most recent encounter of this experience happened this morning during my science class. Granted, my science class is specifically designed for people with zero ambitions for future success, but I genuinely forgot that these types of people actually exist. It all started when a conversation of intergalactic exploration arose. I got on the topic of black holes and was asked what happens to the matter after it's consumed by the unescapable beast. I informed him of what's known as a white hole, in which matter cannot enter but is a mass collection of all light collected by a black hole. While a white hole has not yet been discovered, it's hard to deny its presence using common sense and its necessity as a completion to the Einstein field equations. Black holes, however, have been supported by scientific evidence and cannot be denied existence. This was questioned today. This person's approach to the situation was no different than what you might expect from somebody who doesn't believe in something that is blatantly among us. He had begun his statement with a stern, black holes don't exist, providing no evidence to support his theory, thus making it virtually impossible to insult his ideology to the situation. I couldn't retaliate to his point with my point without turning it into a yeah -ha or nah -ah argument, resulting in flinging our own excreto at each other because his point didn't exist. Having not done much research on this topic myself, I didn't actually have a lot of evidence to lean on, but that shouldn't be a problem considering my conversational opponent had the same intellect and thought process as a rock with plastic eyes super glued onto it. I was curious if he simply hadn't been enlightened by spending a few hours on Wikipedia, or intentionally ignored the facts that he's been given so he can't lose any knowledge on the things that he does know how to do, like dropping out of school to play local football and paint on trains for the rest of his days. A mere half hour later, the teacher was slowly figuring out how the internet works by typing in YouTube, insert meaningless subject matter here, into Google. After thousands of eons of scrolling, looking for the correct link, buffering a two minute video for 10 minutes and watching it in 240p with the public school's top of the line Wi-Fi, the non-believer raised his concerns. Can we look up black holes, he said. I was unsure if he discarded his own beliefs or was trying to disprove everything that points to an unavoidable yes in the last 500 years, but I couldn't keep quiet. If I recall correctly, I retaliated. Half an hour ago, you didn't believe in their existence. He waited for a few seconds processing what I've said and trying to think of a witty enough response to redeem himself from his disappointing past. After thinking about it, apparently the response he was satisfied was giving was, yeah, but they're mad. That one quote should probably indicate you of what type of person I'm talking about. Everything he says is either a straight up disapproval of science or some imbecilic animosity towards a minority group of some sort. After that, I decided to ignore everything he said in order to slowly repair what brain cells his dialogue stripped of me while he insulted my hair or some other fatal flaw that I may have or he made up. Just a general message to humanity, please research your facts before you build yourself some auto-credibility. Thank you for your time. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Eat a dick.